Welcome back to Soundscapes, the channel that explores the stories behind iconic songs. Today, we have a mesmerizing tale to share with you. We'll dive into the enigmatic world of Soundgarden's hit song, Black Hole Sun. Prepare to be captivated as we uncover the hidden layers and haunting beauty of this unforgettable track. Imagine a song that takes you on an emotional roller coaster, evoking memories and feelings you thought were long forgotten. For record producer Michael Beinhorn, Black Hole Sun had precisely that effect. Attending a funeral just before hearing the demo, the lyrics transported him back to a place of mourning, intensifying with every listen. But what was Soundgarden's lead singer Chris Cornell thinking when he wrote these words? Beinhorn couldn't help but wonder, so he asked Cornell about the meaning behind the lyrics. To his surprise, the response was simple. Well, they're just some words. This contradictory beauty is what makes Black Hole Sun so intriguing. It's a blend of clever phrases that are deeply affecting yet inscrutable. Black Hole Sun was born from the mind of Chris Cornell, Soundgarden's lead singer and frontman. Late one night as he drove home from Bear Creek Studio in Woodenville, Seattle, Chris's attention was grabbed by a news anchor's words as he mistakenly heard the phrase Black Hole Sun instantly sparking the idea of transforming it into an incredible song title. During his 40-minute drive, the song took shape within his mind. The entire arrangement, including the iconic guitar solo beneath the riff, formed a cohesive whole. To ensure he wouldn't forget the melodies, Cornell spent a significant amount of time spinning them in his head. Upon reaching home, he whistled the melodies into a dictaphone. The next day, he brought his creation into life, infusing the verses with key changes to make the melodies more intriguing. The lyrics followed suit, flowing from a stream of consciousness inspired by the emotions evoked by the chorus and the song's title. In an interview, Cornell admitted that he didn't fully understand the song's meaning even after he wrote it. He was drawn in by the music, using the lyrics to paint a vivid picture rather than convey a specific idea. The song's lack of a concrete narrative allowed listeners to interpret it in their own way, making it a captivating and thought-provoking experience. Before we continue, I wanna take a quick moment to ask for your support. If you're enjoying this video and finding value in the content, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving it a thumbs up. Chris Cornell admitted that when he wrote Black Hole Sun, he had doubts about how the band would receive it. Much to his surprise, the song resonated deeply with his bandmates and went on to become their biggest hit of the summer. It surpassed his expectations, capturing the hearts of listeners around the world. Black Hole Sun stands out as an intriguing contradiction. Despite its melancholic nature, the juxtaposition of the beautiful and memorable chorus with the dark undertones of the lyrics can create a misperception. Chris Cornell revealed that he wanted this song to be perceived as sad Yet the captivating melody often leads people to perceive it as unsettling, uplifting, soothing, or even scary. All at once, the tension builds throughout the song, dragging you along and refusing to let go. When discussing Black Hole Sun, it's impossible to overlook its unforgettable music video, which adds another layer of intrigue to the song. Directed by British artist Howard Greenhawk, the video is both bizarre and apocalyptic in nature. The video depicts a seemingly normal suburban neighborhood, but with a twist. Its residents are portrayed with comically exaggerated smiles, makeup, tongues, and eyes. The imagery is both surreal and unsettling. As the video unfolds, these vain citizens are gradually consumed by the symbolic black hole sun while the band performs the song in an open field. It's a visual representation of the song's darker themes and an exploration of the superficiality of society. Interestingly, in the video, Chris Cornell can be seen wearing a fork necklace, a gift from Shannon Moon of Blind Melon, adding a subtle connection between two iconic bands of the time. Black Hole Sun also left its mark on popular culture. The song received a playful parody treatment by the legendary Weird Al Yankovic on his album, 
Bad Hair Day, showcasing its enduring impact. Since its release, Black Hole Sun has been covered by numerous artists paying homage to its timeless appeal. Notably, Nora Jones offered her own rendition of the song, demonstrating its versatility across genres. In more recent times, Seattle's own Brandy Carlisle has performed the song alongside the remaining members of Soundgarden. Her passionate rendition has even sparked discussions about the possibility of her leading the band as its lead singer, creating a new chapter for Soundgarden. Let's take a step back in time to 1993 when producer Michael Beinhorn received a tape in the mail. Soundgarden had agreed to work with him on their follow-up to the acclaimed album Bad Motor Finger. However, the initial demos weren't meeting their potential. It was during a conversation with Cornell that Beinhorn discovered the key to unlocking the band's creativity. Inspired by Chris Cornell's love for the Beatles and Cream, Beinhorn gave him a challenge write a song that sounds like the Beatles and Cream. This request made Cornell pause and reflect, leading to a fateful package arriving at Beinhorn's doorstep. Inside were four songs, including Fell on Black Days and the game-changing Black Hole Sun. Soundgarden bassist Ben Shepard equated it with Stevie Wonder's level of songwriting, truly monumental. Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun didn't fit the mold of a radio-friendly hit. Its church organ-like sound and dreamlike quality were achieved by using a Leslie speaker. The band's experimentation with unconventional sonic elements set Black Hole Sun apart from the mainstream. Soundgarden's guitarist, Kim Thayil, employed a series of unorthodox guitar tunings to create the song's distinct atmosphere. The combination of these unique elements, along with Cornell's mesmerizing vocals, forged a sonic landscape that was both familiar and otherworldly. Decades have passed since the release of Black Hole Sun, yet its legacy remains intact. The song has become an emblem of the grunge era and an enduring symbol of artistic exploration. Its impact on popular culture is undeniable. As we come to the end of our journey through the meaning and impact of Black Hole Sun, let us take a moment to honor the unforgettable Chris Cornell. On that tragic Wednesday night, Cornell, the renowned frontman of rock band Soundgarden and Audio Slave, was found dead in his hotel room at the MGM Grand Casino in Detroit. His sudden and unexpected passing, believed to be a suicide according to initial reports from the Detroit Police Department, has left the music world mourning yet another loss. His immense talent, vulnerability, and soul-stirring voice have left an indelible mark on the world of music. We pay tribute to a true legend who will forever be missed. Cornell played a pivotal role in the grunge movement of the early 1990s, a community that has been plagued by the devastating effects of suicide and substance abuse. The list of foundational players lost to these battles is distressingly long, including Lane Staley and Mike Starr of Alice in Chains, Scott Weiland of Stone Temple Pilots, Kurt Cobain of Nirvana, and now Chris Cornell. As we conclude our journey through the enigmatic masterpiece that is Black Hole Sun, we're left in awe of Soundgarden's ability to create a song that transcends boundaries. Its atmospheric soundscapes, evocative lyrics, and captivating performances continue to captivate listeners to this day. So next time you hear those iconic opening chords, allow yourself to be immersed in the swirling vortex of Black Hole Sun and let its mysteries unfold. Join us next time on Soundscapes as we explore the hidden stories behind more of your favorite songs. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked this video. Goodbye for now. <laughs>